in changing a death certificate and and why was that being asked of you and so it's like something that should never happen no and you know as a, a physician in the hospital where if patients are under my care i'm i'm considered the most responsible f- physician mm-hmm. for the mrp and so i was um the mrp for this patient who is actively dying and she passed away um in the morning and i was called to fill out the death certificate, which I did. And then about five hours later, I was contacted by a nurse saying that she tested, this patient tested positive for COVID. I had to come back and change the death certificate. And so I said, no, I don't. Um, She passed away of natural causes and I won't say what those were, but I was highly confident. I knew all of the details of her chart. I mean, to the best of my ability at that time, I knew she'd been tested two days prior as well. And it was negative and she was actively dying. She was hours from the end of her life. And she passed before that was resulted. There was no, you know, there's another ethical issue there and violating someone's body with no permission um, while they're dying. There's no dignity there. So anyhow, um, I said, no, you know, I'm, I'm confident that this is what it is that didn't contribute whatsoever to her death. And then it didn't, it just didn't end there. It went on. Got so another the desire call. was for you to say that the cause of death was COVID, not that she died having tested positive for COVID. Yeah. To change the death certificate as if COVID should have been added. Um, but she didn't have COVID, um, you know, there's, there's so many issues that we could go into and branch into that are about, you know, reliability of testing and things like that. But regardless, her body was almost expired anyway, by that time, why would you test her? No one was in that room. Her family wasn't allowed to come in. Nobody had been exposed. It was just really unreasonable and absurd 